Let's talk about deferred execution. A lot of people think this has something to do with link, and it does, but it's not primarily, the reason it exists isn't because of link. And the reason it exists, or deferred execution exists, is because of the yield statement. Okay, so in order for you to really understand what's going on or what I'm going to talk about here, you need to go watch this series of yield videos because deferred execution has more to do with yield than it does for link, but it, deferred execution becomes more apparent in link as we do linkish kind of things. So that's why I'm doing this video in the link series, even though you really need to understand it from the yield series. So, so go look at the yield uh, playlist if you need to. Uh, I'm going to write up uh, where, just like I have in... Um, previous videos, except this time I'm going to make it generic, and this, I enumerable of T items, and you know what, actually, don't blink, I'm going to code really fast, boom, so you don't wish you could code that fast, That's that, that was epic, anyway, I have where and I have select, um, where, this is the same where we've seen before, we just iterate over all the items, just run each item through the gauntlet, and if the gauntlet returns true, meaning the item pass through the gauntlet, then we yield that item. Select is not much different from the where, except we don't send each item through the gauntlet. Instead, we pass each item, this item, through a transform delegate. Okay, So this func here takes a T, and we're iterating over sequences of T. You now T could be int or strings or people or whatever you want it to be. It doesn't matter. T sounds so abstract and technical. Don't let it uh, burn, burn your brain out. Um, anyway, we take each item t, and then we send it to the transform, and transform returns an r. So we could take an int and return an int, or we could take an int and return a balloon, or whatever. It, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so here's where, and here's select, and I'm just gonna, for the fun of it, I'm gonna say console write line select, and in here I'm gonna say console write line where, okay? And then we need some items, so int array, whoopsie. Ah, and array uh, stuff. Let's call it stuff. Stuff gets, and let's just do the random pound on the keyboard. Okay, and then I'm going to say uh, far result. Let's bring this up a little bit. Gets from i in stuff. Uh, where i, I don't know, let's do i less than uh, 5. Uh, select i plus 6. And the reason I did plus 6 is because I didn't want a degenerate clause. Remember from the degenerate video, the compiler will actually remove the select. Okay? So this where, as you saw in previous videos, will resolve to our where up here. And this select will resolve to this select up here. Now why am I getting the red squiggly? Cannot find implementation int or found. Oh. We forgot to make this static. Extension methods have to be in static. And now the red static classes, now the red squiggly is gone. Okay? Notice I'm no I don't have the using system.link up here. So that even further drives point drives home the point that that uh this query down here is gonna result in using our aware and our select. Alright? So you would be wise, pause the video here, and when I run this, what is the output going to be? Okay, hopefully you paused it. I'm gonna run it. And there is no output. Okay, you should remember from the um, from the yield video that that these yields here. This whole once I say yield inside of any method body, this whole body just turns gets trans. The compiler translates it into a class. Then the compiler returns a new instance of that class instead of all this code. If that doesn't make sense to you, please go watch the yield playlists. Um, same thing here. So basically no output because we didn't start walking through our result. This code doesn't start executing until we start consuming uh, our end result. So I'm just going to say, uh, instead of doing for each and using that uh, syntactic sugar of the for each, I'm going to actually, let's let's just go, let's let, let's go uh, old school or un, what's, what's the word? Syntactic sugar. <laughs> Unsyntactic sugar school. All right, I know it returns ints. Okay, we transformed an int to an int because we took an int, like say we're going to take four, four plus six is still an int. So, enumerator of int rater gets result dot get enumerator. You know what? I actually cheated here and said var. I could, uh, what, what actually is returned is, is select's return type. Remember, select is the last thing here. Well, select's return type is an i enumerable to the transform type, which is int. So, I'm going to say i enumerable 
of int or thread static attribute. Same thing, right? <laughs> okay, I enumerator, raider, get enumerator. And I'm going to say um, wall raider dot move next. Console write line raider dot current. Okay? So I want you to let's carefully watch the output as I run this as I run this this application. Let's go. Notice so far, yes, I stepped over the query, but no output, nothing happened yet. I'm gonna say get numerator and still no output. Alright. Remember the move next. The, all this code here from the yield videos, you should remember that all this this code gets put in the move next for the iterator generated by the select. And all this code gets put in the iterator for the or the move next for the iterator of the where. And so I didn't really call move next on anything quite yet. Alright. Now down here I'm going to call move next. So let's let's I'm gonna actually hit F eleven. F eleven. Alright. And now we've stepped into the select here, which is really the move next for the generated, the compiler generated class. F10, and now all of a sudden, oh, we got output. All right, we just console right lined. We got our first item, okay, and and we can print that item. And the first item looks like is 10 because 4 plus 6 is 10. Anyway, but that that's that's like the intro to deferred execution. Right? We didn't really execute anything until we started to consume it using the move next and all that. See, I've stepped over here. I'm all the way down to the move next, and still none of this query code has has executed at all. It's deferring execution until the very last minute when we need it. Right? In the next video, we're going to pull this deferred execution thing apart a little bit.